As we've reported, school funding is going to be a huge issue during the legislative session which kicked off today. For years, local politicians have suggested that Arizona school districts have bloated administrations. But if you really take a closer look at the numbers, there's reason to believe that that's a myth. Team 12's Joe Dana joins us now to verify comparing what Arizona spends on administration at K through 12 schools versus other states. Joe? You know, uh, this is one of the most common complaints that I hear from those who don't work in the schools. Uh, those who are in schools say this is just not true. Now to answer the question of whether there's evidence of bloated school districts in Arizona, we are using data from the Arizona Department of Education, federal school funding data, and we looked at two studies by two nonprofit research organizations that analyze school funding issues. Let's compare Arizona district schools to the nation. U.S. Census data looks at state-by-state -state costs for district offices, superintendents, CFOs, principals, clerical staff, and directors of departments. Altogether, Arizona spent $573 per pupil in 2020. That amounts to 56% of the national average. And these graphics show that over the years, Arizona districts are operating leaner compared to the country. In 1992, the state spent almost as much as the national average on overall admin funding. As you can see, that dipped in the late 90s and again during the 2008 recession, more than the rest of the country. So 12 News can verify. Based on state and national data, there's no reason to believe Arizona district schools have bloated administrative costs compared to the rest of the nation. Now, there are exceptions. One case involves uh, the revelation earlier this year of the Buckeye School District superintendent receiving well over 300 k per year in bonus and unused sick pay, sick pay for five years. Uh, that's the subject of a lawsuit by the state. The district maintains the compensation, although highly unusual, was not improper. Now, if you have a question that you want us to verify, email us at verify at 12news.com. Back to you.